If you're a college student like me, then you know college is a little expensive, which means that you also know that not having a financial plan is one of the fastest ways to go broke. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about budgeting, but not just budgeting, but budgeting specifically in college. And if you stick until the end of the video, I'm actually going to give you guys some gems that I use to save money by using discounts, um, student plans and things like that. So let's go. What's up, everybody? My name is Justin and I'm a college YouTuber and I make videos on my college lifestyle along with that. I also make videos about tips and advice for college students and I do the occasional vlogs and some fun challenges. So when it comes to this plan, right, when it comes to budgeting for college, the first and most important thing is to budget, you gotta have money. So number one is to strategize your finances. So in college, there's a multitude of ways you can make money. And of course, one of the easiest ways is to not to be you know, a little rude, but get a job. <laughs> so. <laughs> There is a multitude of ways you can find a job in college and your job in college doesn't always have to be on campus. You can also get off campus jobs as well. I personally just like an on campus job for myself simply because with an on campus job, I usually work with my schedule a little bit better. Um, and not only that, but it's also in the same unit or campus. So it's not that hard for me to just commute from my job to my class and vice versa. But once again, nothing wrong with off campus jobs too. So the second tip may not apply to a lot of people, but number two is to ask your parents for money. Uh, I don't necessarily ask my parents for money just because I kind of want to take the responsibility of just having to funding myself right now. Uh, my parents, of course, send me the occasional money, but for the most part, I may not. You can always ask your parents for an allowance. Now, this is where it may come down between you and your parents and your family because everyone's situation is very, very different. Use this opportunity to be able to take back and learn how to budget within your family scope. Not only will this help you directly learning how to budget because you're using someone else's money, but also this would really help you be able to understand how to pay back if your parents are asking you to pay this money back at a certain point. So let's say your parents are willing to give you $100 a month for college, right? Go ahead and break out some money to automatically save because of emergencies in college, you don't know what could happen. I would recommend doing this if you also have a job. I would say to go out and save at least 20% of your job and then go ahead and use the other 80% as you're spending money. So if you can save up to 60% of your check, do it. But if you can always do 20, there's nothing wrong with doing 20% either. Limit your expenses. When budgeting, you're not gonna be able to spend as much money as you want to, nor are you gonna be able to go out and just freely spend um, the volume of money that you would spend. So if that means you can only go out to eat once a week, then that is what that means because part of budgeting is also disciplining. When you're not disciplined in how much you save or how much you're spending, you're going to end up in a situation that you don't wanna be in. Also, one of the easiest ways for you to save, hold on, I wanna put on my ring. Makes me look cool. Another way you can limit your expenses and save money is by looking at your college and trying to see what type of free discounts they have, student discounts, or in some cases, free options for you. This could be something like free t-shirts, being honest. I know they're very branded, but at the same time, it's closed. Um, so I don't think anybody ever turns down free t-shirts. Also, a lot of websites and companies also give free student discounts um, for students just as long as you verify with your student ID. Companies like Adidas and Nike and other companies will offer 10 to 15%, sometimes even more, discounts for students just for being a student. One of the apps that I've mentioned in my past video, which is 10 apps that you should all have as college students, I actually talk about one of these apps, which is UniDays, and UniDays is an entire app that's basically dedicated towards student discounts. And inside UniDays, there are everything from Converse and Adidas to what's our brand and companies that give out discounts for students. So if you were interested, I'm gonna go ahead and link that video up there and it will also be inside my description. So if you wanna check it out, just go check it out there. Another random gem that I'm gonna tell you guys about, I've been looking on Twitter recently and I found these two accounts that offer like crazy random deals and they are fat kid deals and today's steals. These two websites have offered so many discounts that they do daily. They don't even give discounts on like certain items. They really just do maybe about 50 plus different discounts that they just, and they're also linked towards Amazon, which is really, really cool too. So that way you guys can also use your prime discounts as well. So if you wanna check those out, I'm gonna link those two down below, but I've seen things from like a refrigerator being discounted by like $400 off to a camera I could have gotten for about 20 bucks. So they have a lot of discounts on both of those. If you don't have a Twitter, definitely go ahead and make one for this purpose and then check out some free deals, man. The third, and in my opinion, one of the most important things you should remember is that you have to track your transactions. A lot of times you 
A lot of times we get on our banking apps and we notice that $30 was taken out of our account, $20 was taken out of our account. And a lot of times these can be things that we don't even realize that we're paying for. So when you track your transaction, you're keeping up with things that are coming out of your account and you're aware of all the payments that you're making. One of the biggest things that kind of whoops us a lot of times as college students are subscriptions, whether we're subscribed to things like Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, and things like that. And we keep getting bills for these things and we keep forgetting. So just make sure you're checking out for all your subscriptions. Pretty simple. So just to wrap up this video and to give you guys all the key takeaways all at once, the steps in order are to number one, find your way of making money, whether that's an on-campus or off-campus job, parents giving you an allowance, or however you make your money. For me, another side hustle that I do is photography. So if you do have an option where you have two different incomes, you can use one for an example, let's say you have an on-campus job as your spending money and everything that you get from like your photography business can be your savings. Number two, once again, limit your expenses. Be disciplined to know a need versus a one. Find cheaper and free options if they are available. Look out for those student discounts on a lot of your purchases that you make. Check out Fat Kid Deals and Today's Steals on Twitter. Another free gem I'm gonna give you guys right before I end this video is to use the app Intuit Mint. Intuit Mint is a great app. I'm not even sponsored by them, but a great app to help you look at your budgeting just to see how much you spend, so much you've saved and just everything. And it shows you all different types of ways you can help budgeting. And there's a bunch of other tips inside the app as well. So going to go ahead and link that app as well for you guys so you guys can check that out too so wrapping up this video i do want to say thank you to you guys for making it till the end um if you did like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment something that you did learn in the description and if there's other tips that you have that you guys can give towards other people definitely leave those in the comments because we're all in this together and there's no point in saving in gems don't do that do not do that so with that being said uh, thank you guys for watching this video and then once again like i mentioned i am a college youtuber so if you're interested in just other college content in general go ahead and check out some of my playlists right there that i have with most of my college content you guys can go have fun with that too so thank you guys once again and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.